everybody welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by so for today's video look we love chicken here on time with April and I'm gonna show you guys how to make the perfect roasted whole chicken recipe and you know it takes one ingredient for the chicken to taste really really delicious and if you want to know what that ingredient is then keep watching but before we get started please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and I want to thank all my new subscribers and don't forget to hit that notification bell just in case whenever I do put up a video you'll be the first to know okay so enough talking let's go ahead and get cooking so back with another chicken recipe you guys and so let's get started I have a seven pound whole chicken that I've already washed and cleaned and right now I'm just gonna take a paper towel and I'm gonna pat the chicken completely dry or take as much of the moisture out of it as possible because when you bake the chicken you don't want it to steam or the skin to be soggy you know sometimes when you make chicken and you wonder why how come the skin is so soggy It's because it had too much moisture when you put it in the oven so this is a very important step and definitely do this you shouldn't skip it so this is something else that I also like to do before I put the chicken in the oven I'm just gonna transfer it to a baking dish or whatever dish that you have handy and I'm just gonna let it sit in the refrigerator between 8 and 24 hours and trust me guys it's gonna turn out perfect So it's the very next day, I took my chicken out of the refrigerator, I let it sit for 24 hours and I'm just going to lay it on a cookie sheet because I'm ready to prep it. And because you want your chicken to taste just as good on the inside as well on the outside, I'm going to season the inside cavity with some sea salt and now some black pepper. And to bake that perfect chicken, this is something that you really have to do. You have to tie it up or something that's called truss a chicken. And basically you just want to tie up the legs and the wings together so that when you bake it off, they're not flailing around and the chicken stays whole so that it can bake evenly. So now I'm ready to show you that one ingredient that I really believe makes the perfect and delicious baked chicken and that's a whole stick of butter and I like to use the peri gold garlic and herb butter and it's already flavored it's really delicious and you can find it at most grocery stores and I left it out overnight so that it's creamy and soft and just easy to rub and I'm just gonna rub the whole stick the entire stick and I'm gonna start on the back of the chicken and I'm just gonna flip it over and I'm gonna rub the rest of the butter on top of the chicken and if you have unsalted regular butter you can also use that as well but I really really recommend the peri gold uh, garlic and herb butter it just adds another level of flavor So I'm done adding my whole stick of butter and I'm just going to go ahead and season it off with some sea salt and some black pepper and also some garlic powder. I love garlic powder. It's one of my favorite seasonings to cook with. So my chicken is nice and prepped and ready to go, but before I put it in the oven, I'm just going to move it over to the stove and transfer it into a roasting pan. And I'm just going to add some water to the bottom of the pan just so that the chicken doesn't stick or burn. So I went ahead and I preheated the oven at a very high heat at 425 degrees and it really depends on how big your chicken is. It could take between one and one and a half hours to bake and you could just imagine as it sits in the oven and cook it's going to soak in all those amazing flavors. The, the butter, the salt and the pepper, the garlic powder is going to be really, really, really delicious. And this is what the chicken looks like straight out the oven. Beautiful and golden brown. And you definitely want to let it rest for 10 minutes so the juices can redistribute. And don't forget to cut off that string. 
You guys, this is how you bake the perfect chicken and definitely have it with your favorite side dishes. But that is it, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it and it will help the algorithm out a whole lot. Share this video with everybody you know, especially if they love baked chicken. Follow me, tag me on Instagram, take a picture. I would love to see it. And if you give this recipe a try, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Now wait you guys, before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscriber button down at the bottom. And if you want to see another video, go ahead and click that box you see over there. But until then, thank you so much for watching. I love and appreciate you all and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye bye.